Hey everyone, welcome back to the beginner's guide of data science, machine learning, and AI. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how to save and reload a TensorFlow model. So it's going to be a quick episode. We're going to walk through a couple of basic steps. And the purpose to do this is in case that you want to retrain your model later on, and you don't want to lose that training progress from a previous experiment, this is a quick way of saving some time just to pick up an old model and start retraining it. So let's start with import package. So here we're gonna say import TensorFlow as TF. Then we're gonna build some sort of fake model. We can say model equal to TensorFlow Keras models. And then we can say sequential. Uh, so this sets up a blank model. Uh, I'm gonna just add a quick layer here to get things started. We're gonna say TensorFlow Keras layers dot dense. Let's say 10 units. And then we're gonna make up some name. We're just gonna call it layer one. And for example, we can set some sort of input shape to be arbitrary number five, just so that you know that I'm doing this on the spot. I'm not reloading some previous memory, right? So I defined this on the spot. We have layer one defined here. This 10 units is showing up here. So this is the model that we just built. We haven't done much about it. This is literally just one single layer. Now I want to save it. So a quick way to do this is we do a model.save. We can make up some name, right? Some new model and the format is H5. This H5 means hierarchical because it's stack of array here to represent the weights of this model. And you can see that in my environment on the left-hand side, I don't really have this name here in the left-hand side. Uh, so the minute I'm gonna run this code, but it will show up on the left-hand side. See, boom, there you go, it's showing up here. Now let's come up with a new model. Let's say reloaded underscore model. Now. I haven't really defined this model anywhere on my screen. Now, of course, doesn't know that. So if I run this, it's going to say, hey, you know, this thing doesn't exist. Uh, it's not defined. So let's reload this file, some new model.h5 file, back into the memory. And then let's examine if the model summary give us the same information uh, so that we want to verify that it's the same model, right? And I'm not cheating here because this reload model doesn't exist yet. So let's try. We can say TensorFlow Keras models load model. And then you can simply call the name. Uh, here we have some new model dot h5. Boom, there you go. Now this is saved in this object called reload model. And we can of course do a summary. So we say reload model summary. We print that out. As you can see here, it says layer one, it says output shape 10, and that matches exactly what we just defined up here in this table above. So there you go. This is a quick way of reloading a previous model in your memory. And of course, in between here, if your model crashes, computer crashes, memory crashes, anything that happened, any caveat that happened that stopped your training progress, not to worry, right? Because each particular step, you can always save your model. And then later on, you can reload it and do whatever it is that you need to do. And so hopefully this will save you some time uh, for the students out there that's using free collab account. Uh, hopefully this trick will come in handy. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you in the next one.